Good morning, beautiful ones. It's Jane here from Cacao Medium. And I wanted to share a little uh, meditation this morning. I've had a beautiful customer ask me if there was any recipe and ritual I can share to support the self-love process. And I thought, you know what, I'll just share something for everybody. So uh, first of all, starting with your cacao. So this self-love and acceptance uh, cacao actually has blue china, orchid in there which is really really good for elevating the will so it helps to strengthen that inner force within to help you choose habits and behaviors that are in alignment with your highest good so it helps the old patterns to break away and helps you to honor yourself and choose alignment for your soul um, it also has career in there which is really really great for uh that that self uh i don't know if the, what the word is where we really hard on ourselves it really helps us to stop looking at the past to let go of any regrets that we may have about the past and to really be kind and gentle to ourselves and from that place of coming into acceptance we can move forward um, and then there's also the yellow cone flower in there, which really encourages us to acknowledge that the most important opinion that matters is the one that we hold about ourselves. The perception that we have of ourselves is the most important perspective. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter what other people say. What are you saying about yourself? So that flower helps you to really choose thoughts that really honour you. So that is what is actually already infused into the ceremonial cacao for self-love and acceptance. If you wanted to add to that as part of your ritual, basically all you need to do is get your cacao, um, add a liquid to that. So that could be water or it could be a plant-based milk. Then you could add, there are so many options. I love rose essence for really opening the heart. So you could add some rose water in there, which is uh, in big bottles. And you could just add a teaspoon or, or a tablespoon, depending on how big your cup is. And otherwise, there are things like rose essences. Um, <clears throat> some people love using things like lacuma and maca, which are beautiful plant-based uh, Powders, they've been ground down and they've got all got medicinal properties. Some people use medicinal mushrooms. Then you've got herbs and spices, cinnamon, turmeric, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, cardamom, whatever. Just there's so many possibilities. So just have them all in your home, all in your pantry. And in that moment, on the particular day that you're drinking, just tune in and be present with your body and ask, what do I need? What am I craving? Would I like some warming up or do I need cooling down? So cinnamon, ginger, they're warming herbs. Um, turmeric might have a bit more of a cooling effect. So uh, listen to your body or go on taste. It doesn't matter. It's about what feels good for you. And then you might like to add a sweetener as well. Some people prefer it bitter or you can add maple or honey or agave or blend dates in. There are so many possibilities. So really at the end of the day, it's up to you and what feels good for you. <clears throat> so that being said, once you have your cacao prepared, I'm going to... Um, yeah, guide you on a little meditation. It's called heart coherence and I, I might add to it to expand on it a little bit, but heart coherence is something that I've learned. It's quick and easy. It takes five minutes and it is a really beautiful practice to help you to raise your vibration, to help you sit in the vibration of the glorious heart energy and help you to encode the world around you from that heart loving place rather than from subconscious fears and old programs and old stories. So if you feel ready to do so, join me now. Otherwise, pause this and come back later when you're ready. So taking a deep breath, sitting down or lying down, Allowing your body to relax, feeling your body connecting to the earth, just slowing down and for the next 10 minutes, surrendering, 
to this moment right now, putting aside 10 minutes to consciously create and generate your energy so that you are consciously living in the world instead of operating and running on subconscious programs that drain you and deplete you. And holding your cup, smelling the cacao, noticing all the different elements of the aroma and just drinking her in slowly. Drinking in tree medicine. And as you drink her in, she is literally increasing the blood flow to your heart. She is literally increasing the way that the blood moves around your body. That is why she is called heart opener because she actually increases blood flow at a physiological level to your heart. This part of our bodies that can hold so much weight and so much hurt is also your most powerful co-creative force on the planet. And so connecting into your heart now. And you may feel called to place one hand on your heart. And beautiful sister, if you're watching too, you may like to place one hand on your womb. Our hearts and our wombs are connected. And men, you may feel called to place your hand either on an energetic womb or both hands on your heart. And just acknowledging this womb space and this heart space, these two powerful co-creative life birthing centers, love birthing centers. And imagining now in your heart this light and this light warms and radiates outwards into your chest. Feeling the expansion of this light radiating outwards. And just noticing any thoughts, any resistance. And just coming back to the light in your heart and the warmth like a candle burning like a fire burning a flame of love in the center of your heart and that flame grows and expands into your shoulders into your arms down into your stomach and as that flame moves through your body it's actually cleansing and it's purifying and it's taking away all the areas where there's tension. It's purifying all the areas where there's toxicity. It's burning that out and the flames growing and expanding into your fingertips, down your legs, into your reproductive organs. And it's burning out the old cleansing, clearing and purifying and expanding. And that wave of fire just moves through your whole body now until your head all the way down to the tips of your toes is being purified and cleansed and encompassed by this radiant flame from the center of your heart.
and feeling all your thoughts being cleansed. Feeling that expansive energy. And now just noticing and becoming aware and asking the question, where am I unkind to myself? Where am I too hard on myself? How do I hurt myself? How am I not loving myself? Let your thoughts, let images just show to you all the ways that you are being hard on your beautiful, beautiful vessel and body. And let those old patterns and old ways, they may be yours, you may have inherited them, they may be survival programs that you needed to adopt to get through situations. And in the moment, back then it served you, but it is no longer needed for who you are and who you are here to be. So let that glorious flame of fire in your heart burn it out now. Burn out those old ways. Bringing love to yourself. Because every choice that you made and everything that you did was to protect yourself. And was so you could survive. And have gratitude for your amazing body that got you to this moment right now. There is no wrong. Like everything that has happened served its purpose back then. And from this point, you have learnt the lessons now. From this point, you are ready to move forward into the next way into a better way, into a more loving way. And so now just allow yourself to think of three things that you are so grateful for. Three things about yourself. Maybe it's your strengths, your determination, your unwillingness to give up, your ability to just keep going. Whatever it is, just allow the feelings of gratitude in your heart to expand. And as you embody these feelings of gratitude, your vibration is actually lifting. Denser, heavier energies cannot penetrate you and reach you from this radiant place. In fact, it is your light that penetrates the density and the darkness now. You are starting to pierce the world with your presence and your love and your radiance and your gratitude and this is what the world needs more of. And so letting that gratitude build until you can fully come to a place where you can truly honour yourself as a vessel of gratitude, as a vessel of compassion, if it's hard to hold compassion, if it's hard to hold gratitude, then have compassion for yourself. Hold yourself like a mother would hold her child. You've come so far. And you can do this. And you are held and you are loved.
And just allowing yourself to con continue to sit in this beautiful, expanded, gentle, loving place. And ask yourself from here, what action, what is one step I can take that would be a loving step for myself? What is one thing that I need to do or implement that would be an action and a demonstration of love for myself? And let that come to you either in thoughts or images or sounds, however your body and your intuition communicates to you is perfect. When you feel ready, take that step. Later today, straight after this. And literally choosing love is a daily, minute, moment to moment choice in every moment. And I am not perfect at it either. So thank you for this opportunity for me to remind me to choose love in every moment. And take that action that is truly in alignment with self-love and acceptance. And when you feel ready, just wriggling open your eyes and your fingers, wriggling your fingers and toes. And you may like to journal from this place, whatever calls you now, whatever is a yes for your body, go and do that and be gentle on yourself. Thank you, beautiful ones. Have an amazing day. Bye.